Greetings, everyone. Thanks for joining us this morning on this live stream from Gold Seal. We got an email last week from Mark Strickland, ground school member. Uh, he knew we were up here in Atlanta, and he said he'd like to see a video of what it's like to go in and out of Peace Treaty Cab Airport. Now, PDK is one of the busier Class D airports in the country, and uh, they've got parallel runways. Uh, they've got a crossing runway, 9 and 27. I'm not even sure if that one's in use right now, but it's a, it's a busy airport. Uh, one thing you have to do when you go to an airport like that is really be on top of your radio. You have to pay attention to what the tower controller is telling you and, and be willing to listen and comply quickly. They don't have a lot of room in there. Now, I'm not sure how it's going to be today. It might be just busy as could be, or maybe we'll be the only, only people in traffic pattern, but we'll find out. So right now, uh, GPS tells us that we're 10 miles out. The first thing we want to do before we go to any Class D airport is to listen to the ATIS, get the weather report. So I'll go ahead and flick over to that now, and we'll, uh, we'll hear what the ATIS for PDK has to say. The Cap Peachtree Tower information, November. One five five November. Three Zulu observation. Wind, variable at five. Variable at five. One zero. Sky clear below one two thousand. Temperature two seven, two point one six. Altimeter three zero zero five. Visual approaches in use, landing and departing runways three right and three left. Notice the stairman. Taxiway Charlie closed between runway three left and three right. Runway three right, runway end identifier lights out of service. Crane 0 0.4 north of Peachtree at 1088 feet MSL, flagged and lighted. Crane 0 0.78 north of Peachtree at 1170 feet MSL, flagged and lighted. Use caution for work in progress at the approach end of runway 3 left and 3 right. Use caution for mowers in between the parallel runways. Drones operating within a 5 nautical mile radius of the Cat Peachtree at or below 400 feet AGL. We have drones. Hazardous weather information for the southeastern U.S. available on all high wasp and flight service frequencies. Bird advisors are in effect. IFR clearance available on clearance delivery frequency 125.2. Advise ground control if IFR or VFR when ready for taxi. Advise on initial contact. You have information November. Information November. So uh, that was a mouthful. A lot of that stuff was uh, talking about mower activities on the ground and things like that. But we got what we needed to know. We got the letter. We know that the uh, winds are variable. Uh, sky is basically clear. We can see that today without even listening to any weather report. And that they're using runways three left and three right. So we'll be landing to, uh, to the northeast uh, on the parallel runways. We'll probably be on the shorter one, which will be three left. But now that I know have, I have November, I've been turning circles out here just to make sure I don't get into his airspace before we're ready. But now that we've got, our, we've got the ATIS, we're ready to make our call to the tower, so we're gonna we're gonna punch the radio over to the tower frequency. Uh, zero Papa Foxtrot, once you're west of the departure corridor for three right, remain west of three right corridor at all times. Now, one thing I should have mentioned is before I go to any airport, I mean I can look up the radio frequencies on the on the J on the panel mount GPS or on my iPad, but. I kind of like to do it the old-fashioned way, too, just as a backup. I write it down on a piece of paper, so I've got the traffic pattern, all the, the frequencies that I'm going to need, the runway numbers, and this just makes the whole, the whole trip into the airport a whole lot uh, less stressful. So, Peace Treaty Cab is kind of interesting. Their traffic pattern is 1998 feet. I guess they figure we're going to be flying with some real precision. We'll just use 2,000 feet for our traffic pattern, but then we'll be using uh, three left or three right, whatever they tell us. We're, we're getting ready to switch back over to the tower frequency of 120.9, so uh, let's get this going. I got the call sign right, 75 Tango, and also verify you have 8 November. That's forward to Skyline November, 8875 Tango, affirmative 8 November. We'll call you three out for the midfield right down there for three right. Yes, sir. There's zero Papa Fox shot. Once you get to the King and Queen, will you uh, be returning to Gwinnett or continuing west now? Now I'll turn the volume down. He mentioned he's talking to another pilot, asking him if we, he was referring to the King and the Queen. That's a, a landmark here on the north side of Atlanta. It's two buildings at the intersection of a, two major uh, expressways. And they call them the King and Queen because they look like the chess pieces on a chessboard. We've got some pictures of them. I don't know if we have a chance to punch them in here during this live stream. But uh, that's what he was referring to, the King and the Queen. I'm going to... I'm going to turn back here to make sure we don't get too close to his airport uh, before we call him. We do have to call him and hear our tail number before we're allowed to enter this Class D airspace. So you'll be seeing the Atlanta skyline as we swing back around here to the left, and then we'll see if we can get a word in and talk to uh, talk to the tower. Yeah, Petrie, Papa Fox, like to go talk to Dobbins. Uh, zero, Papa Fox, traffic exchange, good day. 
Thank you for that. Number three, golf ten, guy down the uh, Intro left base, runway three left. When I call him, I'm going to give him a DDAA, distance, direction, altitude, and ATIS. I'm going to tell him our distance, uh, where we are in relation to the airport, our altitude, and the ATIS letter, DDAA. Peace Tree Tower, Skyline 42742. Last call, say again, please. Skylane 42742, we're seven miles northwest, 2,800 with November. We'd like a couple of touch and goes, followed by a departure to the north. November 42742, Peachtree Tower, I bet. All right, he told me to ident, so I just pushed the button on the transponder to do that. I don't have to verbally respond to that. And he has set our tail number, so we're we're free to enter his airspace now. 742. Enter left downwind for runway three left. All right, left downwind for three left, four two seven four two. So three, tango, three now we know left, how we're going to enter, so now let's head straight to the airport and a left, left, left downwind. Base, three left runway. Three left, clear to land. Three golf tango. Number seven five tango runway three right, clear to land. Wind zero seven zero three. Traffic's a uh, three mile final for runway three left. All right, clear to land runway three right, seven five tango. We're looking for the traffic on the left side. A lot of radio work going on. Peachtree Tower, Sears 39 or Mike Bravo. Sears 39 or Mike Bravo, Peach Tower. Yeah, 11 miles to the uh, west with November landing. There's somebody 11 miles, miles west. Peachtree Tower, Four, three miles west of the field, for left traffic runway, three left. He'll also be on three left, left. that's our uh, landing runway. Right. Mike Bravo. That's the thing about these busy Class Ds, you have to really keep your head on a swivel and keep your ears open. Be aware of where all the aircraft are. This is a, a pretty busy airport this morning. A lot of times it could be even worse. They'll be landing parallel parallel runways, two airplanes at a time. And when that happens, you really have to make sure you're on that center line. Well, the buildings they were referring to earlier is the King and the Queen are right down over here off of our uh, two o'clock position. We're now uh, about four and a half miles from the airport. Again, if you're just joining us, we're, this is a live stream from Gold Seal. You're riding along because Mark Strickland wanted to see a video of what it was like to land at the busy Class D airport at Peace Street of Cab on the north side of Atlanta. So we figured we'd oblige. Mark, I hope you're, I hope you're online. I hope you're enjoying this. We picked a good day for it. And we might as well take advantage of the of the tower being quiet for a few moments to make a little bit of commentary on our own. So we're now three and a half miles out. The uh, airport is straight ahead. We're on a 45 for the left downwind for three left. So this is a nice, be a real nice entry here. A little hazy out here, but not too bad. I can see across the Atlanta skyline down here all the way to the south end of town, which is, shoot, that's a good 20 miles away. Uh, down to Hartsfield, Class B. Right now we're under the Class B airspace. Uh, I don't have my sectional or my iPad open at the moment, but the Class B starts number up seven, above us. Two. That's us. You're number two to follow a on half a mile final, only three left. You're clear for touch and go with 0508 after departure, make left close traffic. All right, 42742 is cleared number two for the touch and go, followed by left traffic, 42742. Number 75 Tango. Hold All right, so we had to read that back to it. Hold short, three left, this freak, 75 Tango. Lose some power and get down to traffic pattern altitude. We got about three or 400 three, feet to lose. Three, three, five, Romeo. Say that again. But There's three, the airport three, three, just right in front of us. Three, three, five, Romeo, peace, star. Yes, eight miles to the southwest, inbound, full stop with November. And that's a three, three, five, Romeo, peace, star, I did. Now, we've been cleared for number okay, two three, three, for that yeah. three left runway, so we got to be looking for this number one. Got a lot of buzzards out here today, too. I don't want to have a close yeah, encounter three, three, with three, one five, of them. Verify, it is November. All right, I'm at and traffic pattern altitude. I am on the left downwind, yeah, and we've been November, cleared um, for the touch and go. For three left, three, three, five, run, yeah. Reduce my power, pitching the nose up, changing my trim for a slower airspeed on the downwind. Let's just do a quick gum check here. Gas is on both, undercarriage is down. Mixture is rich, and I'll push the props in to high RPM when we yeah, slow down a little more. Left turn to taxiway Bravo, traffic will cross down field, contact ground point six at the crossing. That airplane that we were supposed to be number two behind three is rolling out on the runway, so we are now number one for the touch and go on three left. 
7-5, Tango, cross on way through, left attack to a Delta, contact ground point 6 at the crossing, good day. Cross the left side on Delta, All right. ground, left side, left side, Tango, thanks. Turn now, Mike Bravo, you're number 2, to follow a Cessna, midfield downwind at 1,900 indicated, runway 3, left. That's us, he's talking about. Clear to land, 0 0 7 Clear to land, 3 left, number 2, following Cessna, 3 now, Mike Bravo. All right, going to... Second notch, 20 degrees of flaps here. We're looking real good on a fairly nice close-in left base for runway three left. When we get turned on to final here, you'll have a good chance to see the two bar parallel runways. And again, if I stop, uh, if I stop the uh, commentary, that's because I'm listening to the radio and let you listen to it too. Three three five Romeo. Fly eastbound from current position eastbound. Once you enter three mile right, crest three mile left base runway three right. All right, gas uh, undercarriage three, three, mixture props forward. I'd like to do a second gum check on final here. A right base for three right. Left base runway three right. Looking number good. Let's three, ease five, over onto the three, center right. line. It is a little bumpy today. A little midfield. cross windy. Just past midfield left down to the parallel runway. Let's say like we got four, across three right, from the right. Three right, clear to land, three, three, five, Romeo. Number nine, Mike Bravo, you still uh, number one now, clear to land, runway three left. Traffic ahead to your right at 2,000 feet. All right, feet. get the airplane There's cleaned up, and that the includes the runway. trim. If you don't mind, start the base turn as soon as possible. Power runway goes in, I'm going to anticipate the right rudder. All you people, any of my students who've flown with me before him, know that term. Anticipate the right rudder. The Get the right rudder in there. Three, be three, be five, ready right. to put it in three, three, five, on this on this rollout. Serious traffic. Three left. Christian Drive. Right back out. Here is the tower and the FBO three, right over here. Three three five right here. And we'll go back and make another round. Parallel runways right out here, so it's really important that I stay on this center line so I don't get blown over. Well, the Brent's blowing the other way, but I don't want to encroach on this center line on this runway to my right. Coming up on 500 feet AGL, so right about now I'll start my turn to the left crosswind. You already instructed us to do left traffic. I'm going to 182, assess the 182 here, so I'm going to do a little bit of a power reduction as we get ready to turn on to the downwind. There's downtown Atlanta, straight ahead. And here comes the crosswind, right at 2,000 feet. Right where we want to be. Wind check. There's somebody asking wind for a wind check. 040 four zero at 8. Zero four zero at 8. So it gives us pretty good, uh, almost, almost a direct headwind on our next one. Reduce the power here on the downwind so we don't build Turn up a... 7, 4, That's us. 2, from with 3 left. Clear to land, right side, clear for the option number two behind traffic profile. Clear to option number two, and after this we'll just depart straight out to the north. Number nine, Mike Bravo, ground point six and off. Okay, look, clear the, uh, clear the option, that means we can do anything we want. Seven, four, two, roger that, after this touch and go, we're showing you to the north. Seven, four, two. So we're going to do another touch and go, and then we'll just continue out. Mark, I hope you're enjoying this, buddy. We gave you everything you asked for. All right, go ahead, jump check. And we're slow enough now, we can put the power in. One notch of flaps. Center three, five, Romeo, turn left, take golf. And we'll start our descent. No delay down the golf. Well, uh, actually, hold short of runway three left, take golf, remain this frequency. Hold short of two left, at golf, three, three, five, Romeo. And I might have missed it, hold I don't know if you can see it out the left. front cam right now, but that's Romeo. Stone Mountain. One of the biggest granite outcroppings, uh, at least left, in the three, east. Three, three, five, that I'm aware of. Landmark, well-known landmark here in Atlanta. Stone Mountain. Let's go to our second notch of flaps. Point three left, drop ground point six on the side. We're now on the left base. Cross three left, ground point six on the other side. Three, three, five, right man. Reduce my power and let's see if we can get on a nice stabilized approach here on the extended runway center line. Right there, and here we are turning over to it.
All right, we're about a half mile final for three left now. Let's see what the what these squirrely winds will do with us. Again, thanks for riding along with us on this flight today. It's our li it's a live stream. We we do a lot of these. We've been doing some from the DC-3. Uh, when we depart out of here, we'll let you take a quick look at some DC-3 footage as we're as we're heading out. But uh, these are a lot of fun to do. And send us your send us your comments and your emails and let us know what you'd like to see. Here we are coming down into the flare. We got a good good airspeed. We'll just hold her up here. A little bit of a bump with the wind. Okay, there's my center line, clean up. That includes trim, one notch flaps, and put in the power and anticipate the right rudder, as always. Wayne, that one's for you, anticipate the right rudder. All right, we're climbing out to the north here. Not much to see now that we're heading on out of town, so maybe we can put in a little bit of a DC-3 footage as we uh, get ready to sign off from this flight. As I said, we put cameras on these airplanes, and we took the Gold Seal DC-3 up to Oshkosh right, this year. Like ready to go. Three left. And we did some live streams up there with uh, Flight Chops and AvWeb and Steve Ocanevo, some uh, YouTube personalities that you may be aware of. We had a blast. Uh, Having that airplane up there, that historic airplane, and seeing how much people enjoyed watching it and, and flying in it, it was just pure, 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 pure pleasure. We, we just love doing that. And doing these live streams in this airplane is a lot of fun, too. So stay on our YouTube channel. We'll be doing more of these. Watch us on Facebook. And uh, as always, good flying.